Salutations, morals, and children of the night. I am the Vampire Otaku, and welcome to my channel. As you can see with this stack of books right here, this is going to be a manga haul. 24 mangas in total that I purchased from the Mall of America, Barnes & Noble. I'm really excited about a lot of these volumes and I can't wait to talk to you about them, show the covers and the spines and etc. With that being said, before I do all that, let me show you a little bit of footage of the Mall of America's Barnes & Noble book inventory, if you will, the mangas that they had. And I'll show it now. Here we are at the Mall of America at the Barnes and Noble. We have a pretty cool selection here. I'm always happy to see case closed. And Delicious and Dungeon always tempts me. I always want to try that one out. Die Dark just comes out so slowly. I'm actually very thankful for that. We got DRCL, absolutely gorgeous. If it's a North Star, that's been tempting me. The Girl from the Other Side, that's a beautiful hardcover. The Helsing paperbacks have also been tempting me. Good night, Poom Poom. Just always happy to see that one. This manga selection is just pretty good. I love seeing JoJo out in the wild makes me happy next over here we have some Junji Ito more Junji Ito some One Piece some My Hero they never have volume 3 of Monster we got Parasite look at it beautiful spines Pluto what a banger these beautiful covers speaking of light novels to my right I really need that Jojo light novel to come out Purple Haze feedback I need that in my life I will buy it yesterday over here we got some rent a girlfriend I'll probably never read that we got some spy family very cute read very popular but I think it's popular for a good reason Unlike solo leveling, beautiful art, but that story is so mid to me. I don't care. Then we got some Tokyo Mew Mew, very cute. Udasai Yatsura, love those colorful spines of those omnibuses. And we're at the end of this. It's alphabetical order. All right, this is going to be the first volume my dear curse casting vampires i don't know if this is going to be good i don't know how much i'm going to enjoy it but i picked it up on a whim sometimes i just pick up things because they look cool or i just want to give it a blind shot also went ahead and picked up volume two apologies for the ring light it's a little bright it has a really pretty spine if you can see that pink in there we got Karomi right here hanging out, best character. Next we have Call of the Night Volume 15. Super excited about this one. I think this manga is going to be wrapping up soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but I fell off with reading it because I just want to binge it. So every new volume excites me. Here is a Manhua. Look at that gorgeous spine. You can see the shiny silver. And also the shiny silver is continued right here. This is called Unholy Blood. Really excited to check this one out. And we're keeping the vampire theme going with Blood Blade. Now this one, I read a little bit of the synopsis and I just thought it was super cool. Dracula being basically reincarnated as a young maiden. Very cool, very interesting. 
Next, I picked up volume two of Midnight Children, DRCL. Very beautiful hardcover by the same mangaka that did the manga called Innocent. This is a very nice hardcover, amazing art. I have been begging for this and excited for this for oh so long. This is Initial D, the Omnibus Edition. I think they chose really good colors because these were the old colors for Toyota's recent development, TRD. And they have a lot of color pages in here too. I'm gonna do a video in the future where I compare the Japanese uh, Tokoban, this omnibus and the original English Tokyo Pop first volume together. That should be really fun. Oh yeah, by the way, kind of heavy. Um, really nice quality despite not being a hardcover. Really nice. Next, you know we had to pick up JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 Stone Ocean. Jolene is the GOAT. I love the green that they use on this one, on this particular uh, part. It just, it fits really well. And uh, not a lot to say about it. It's been consistent with all the JoJo parts. All of them are really nice. Another one I've been super excited about. I heard about this from another YouTuber named Garnt. He's really popular with the boys. They're a really popular YouTube series called Trash Taste. Couldn't get those words out. Um, I just like that the main character is like in his 40s. And um, there's an age gap, but it's not a nasty one. I think she's in her 20s or, or early 30s or something like that. And it's not really a romance. It's more of like a companionship. Like, thanks for being around after this long day of work. Yeah, I just, I love it. It's kind of strange. This is a shorter um, manga as far as the height goes. But it's pretty thick for a single volume. I went ahead and picked up Queen's Quality 16. I'm missing another volume of Queen's Quality. I think uh, 18 is out too. I'm not sure. These are beautiful. I really desperately need to get QQ Sweeper Volume 1 so I could just start this series. Next we have Sleepy Princess and the Demon Castle. This is absolutely hilarious and adorable. The manga is top tier and so is the anime look at that beautiful art and to keep things rolling we have volume two of the same series again with the beautiful art really pretty spines they're gonna look awesome on my shelf i couldn't find volume three in the store that day but i do have volume four i have a long way to go to catch up on this series but i'm excited for the journey nonetheless we have Crossplay Love. This one is absolutely adorable. It just touches my heart the way these characters feel about each other. The secrets that they're hiding from most people and the person that they care about. I picked up Insomniacs After School Volume 2. Have not gotten a chance to read Volume 1 yet, but I will read it as soon as I can. I've been slipping on reading manga lately because I've been writing my novel a lot and I've also been working on my cosplays I'm going to an anime convention this weekend I can't wait to post pictures and post videos of it but back into this video we have Tokyo Babylon by the clamp group the super group beautiful yellow by the way I think that was the first um, boys love that we ever got in America I could be wrong but I think it's one of the first ones we have Parasite Volume 5, the full color hardcover edition. Very excited about this because as you can tell, there is a letter on each spine. And when you get all eight volumes, it's going to spell out the word Parasite. Brilliant. Brilliant. Next, we have Boys Run the Riot. I just think the premise of this is really cool. It's fashion. It's LGBTQ plus friendly. And uh, the art looks really dope. The spines are really cool. And it's really short. It's only four volumes. Keeping up with that, we have another volume of Boys Run the Riot. It's not in order, unfortunately. This is volume three. I didn't stack these properly. But again, a creative art and a really interesting story. 
And then we have volume four of Boys Run a Riot. Maybe it was in order and I'm tripping. <laughs> this is done by Kodansha. And this is the older style before they switched over to the K on the side. Yeah, this cover is sick. And you know I have a weak spot for a gloss mixed with matte. So cool. Next, we have one of the cutest series in my collection. Hakumi and Mikochi. Very cute stuff. I love the spines. Some of the most intricate background art in manga, in my opinion. Like the dense forest, the, the little towns, the interior of houses. Just absolutely incredible. We have volume 10 as well. I'm actually missing volume 9, so I need to find that ASAP. Because I really want to get caught up on this series. I love the beautiful muted tones that they use for the borders of the covers and they really showcase the gorgeous backgrounds and the simplistic but really cute expressive characters epic and last but not least we have volume 10 of zom 100 a very busy cover very pretty color or um, my apologies a very busy uh just there's a lot going on in this cover but the pink is absolutely gorgeous and then we have volume nine, which is pretty tight. It's got kind of a, a sheen to the gold. Really lets you know that it's gold with the yellow spine. Very cool. I need to start reading Zom 100 again. I think I left off on, I don't know, volume seven or six. So I have a lot of reading to do. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Thank you so much for the support. As always, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite manga was in that whole little haul. And if there are any mangas that you're interested in at the moment, any new ones that you're really excited that haven't come out yet or have just come out. With that being said, um, I'll see you in the next video. I'm really excited to do some new things. A lot of these videos have been manga oriented, but I picked up this table because I have a few tricks up my sleeve with some of the new videos I'm going to be posting. So if you want to know what that trick is, stay tuned. And as always, peace.